Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 10.05 in the evening on Thursday, January 14th. And we are going to uh, look at the earthquakes that have happened during the last 24 hours. And then we'll get to the forecast. We have a warning for California as well. We'll get to that in a little minute, a little bit. And we're going to share the screen here. All right. <clears throat> First of all, the, the largest quake that occurred during the, last, uh, during the last 24 hours was here in Indonesia, Northeast Indonesia. And we had 38 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Over in Chile, all the quakes hit up in our, in our high-risk area. This, these three up here, uh, 4.1, 4.6, 4.4, and 4 then a 4.3 down here. Well, they all occurred in our high risk area from uh, up here down into here, two of them in here, and then one down in the 60s. So most of them occurred in, the, in our hot spot there in Northeast Chile and Northwest Argentina. So that was accurate. <clears throat> Central America is quiet and California is quiet for now. Alaska is quiet for now, just small quakes. And Japan and Taiwan are quiet for now, and the Philippines is quiet. However, in Indonesia, we got this 4.6 in uh, southern Sumatra and in our forecast area there. And you can see we're talking about that area in southern Sumatra. And here's our quake in southern Sumatra right there. It's very close to our highest risk area there in southern Sumatra. Western Greece got a 4.5 and a 4.1. And our forecast was 65% uh, risk in that area. All right, let's look at the forecast here. First of all, for uh, California. And we're looking for a 4.5 to 5.5 earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours in East Central California or down to Southern California. Some of the cities involved in that warning are Mina, Nevada, Mammoth Lakes, Lone Pine, Ridgecrest, down to Barstow, and even down into Los Angeles and Salton Sea. Most likely up here in East Central California, uh, near Mammoth Lakes and Ridgecrest. Uh, so a 4.5 to 5.5 is possible in this warning area during the next uh, 24 hours. Up in Alaska, our uh, risk currently is uh, actually it's going into the 14th now. So we're moving down here and it's become a, less of a risk now here across Alaska. Most of it's offshore. However, in the 14th and the 15th, we could get a 5.0 quake in the uh, Juneau to Ketchikan area of uh, Southeast Alaska. 5.0 is possible in the Juneau to Ketchikan area during the next uh, 24 hours or so, 24 to 36 hours. And then that risk continues in that area, Ketchikan down to Moresby Island on the 15th and 16th. And in Santiago, Chile forecast again, we have this uh, high risk in the north part of Argentina there. And you can see in the 14th and the 15th, southeast of Santiago, Santiago is right about here, uh, this risk here could produce a 5.0 southeast of Santiago. And the risk is even higher on the 15th to the 16th, uh, northeast of La Serena and east of Copiapo. So here in uh, northwest Argentina, we could get a 5.0 to maybe even a 6. It's a very, very high risk area there in northwest Argentina. Okay, in Italy... Again, we've been talking about this high risk in central Italy, high risk in uh, central Italy, 13th and the 14th, still high risk there in the same area. And then really, really high risk on the 14th and the 15th. And then that diminishes on the 15th and 16th. So the 4.5 to 5.5 we've been talking about in the Pesquera, Pescara area of east central uh, Italy, well, anywhere from uh, Naples over to Pescara, in that uh, central part of Italy there. You know where you live if you are in uh, Italy. Um, this is the highest risk area. Uh, 4.5 to 5.5 is possible during the next uh, 36 hours or so in that area. 
And Japan has a very interesting situation going on here too. Most of the risk uh, has been kind of offshore. Right now it is uh, in the afternoon of the, uh, of the 14th. And um, most of the risk is offshore here, but when we get on this 14th, the 15th, we get into the 15th and to the 16th, we could get a 5.5 or larger over here uh, in uh, northeast of Osaka, Kyoto, Japan. And uh, I forget the exact areas over here, but this is uh, west of Tokyo and northeast of Osaka and northeast of Kochi. Kochi is right here. Okayama is right here. So northeast of Osaka, I believe this is Kyoto, Japan right here. And so you can see on the map here that this is the, the, the dark red area is the highest risk area where a 5.5 or larger is uh, possible on the 15th into the 16th. So watch that if you're in Japan and be prepared for that. And the Philippines has been quiet for the last week or so. And it's still quiet. West Central Philippines right now, 13th to the 14th gets quieter. Most of the risk off the north part of Philippines and in the far south, again, the far north on the 15th and the 16th. So very quiet in the Philippines. And Greece, the risk remains in the west part of Greece. Uh, during the next 24 hours, the 14th into the 15th, the risk gets pretty high up here in Albania. So uh, very high risk in Albania. You get a 4.0 larger up in that area. And the 15th and the 16th, uh, the risk again is in uh, Northern Greece and Albania. And all these 90, 95% risk here in the far north. Um, well, Greece is the, the line of uh, is Greece is right here. So high risk in the north in Albania on the 15th and the 16th. Highest risk is on the 14th and the 15th here in uh, northern Albania. Central America. The risk continues in East Panama and uh, Western Colombia. And then on the uh, 13th and 14th, risk is in the far south actually offshore there, offshore in the 14th and 15th, 15th and 16th offshore over here, still some risk over in Eastern Panama on the 15th and 16th. Ecuador and Peru. Right now the risk is in the far north of Peru. And then the risk begins to uh, dissipate on the 13th and the 14th, 14th and the 15th offshore here of uh, Ecuador and a little bit more high risk here on the 15th and the 16th, maybe a uh, 4.5 is possible offshore Ecuador and Northwest Peru. Risk is beginning to build in the South here as well. Indonesia, we talked about that quake 4.6, I believe it was right in here in our high risk area down here. And then the 13th and the 14th, and then on the 14th into the 15th, which is right about now over there, uh, we could get a quake north of Jakarta. Jakarta is right in here. And this is Java. So north of uh, Jakarta and north of Java, we could get a 5.0 in there. And a 5.0 is possible in southern Sumatra. Right there. So watch for that if you live in Jakarta. And the 15th and the 16th, that risk begins to diminish. So again, the 14th and the 15th. Taiwan, the risk has been mostly up in the Ryukyu Islands. You can see here in the, in the northern Ryukyu Islands on the 14th and the western part of uh, Taiwan, moderate risk. 15th and the 16th. In the far northern Ryukyu Islands, again, is the risk uh, area. The Caribbean. All right. <clears throat> risk begins to build in the southeast part of the Caribbean and over in the western part of the Caribbean. And by, here's 85% down the southeast. 
And by the 15th and 16th, we could get a significant 4.5 or larger uh, in Western Haiti or Eastern uh, Cuba. In the state of Washington, we had a really high risk up in uh, Northwest of Seattle a little while ago. Uh, that has dropped to 85%. And now the risk is building in Southeast Oregon where 3.5 is possible there. And the 14th and the 15th more in Montana. And the 15th and 16th, that risk begins to build back into uh, Northwest uh, Washington state again. Turkey has been relatively quiet as well. Most of the risk is over in Iraq and a little bit in Syria here, mostly in Iraq there. And then on the 15th and the 16th, still in Iraq and some risk in the far, in the far Northwest there. So pretty quiet in uh, the country of Turkey and Hawaii. Now this is an interesting forecast as well. On the 14th and the 15th, we could get a 5.0 in Western, or I guess you would call this Northwestern Hawaii. Uh, 5.0 is possible in Northwest Hawaii, uh, the Hawaiian Islands there. In the 14th and 15th, 5.0 is possible. And again, on the 15th and 16th, the 5.0 is possible in the North or Northwest portion of the Hawaiian Islands. And down in New Zealand, down under. <clears throat> The risk is, um, I believe they didn't show the quake, on the, I believe the European earthquake uh, seismology department shows something down here in the south, uh, in this warning area here. But uh, that's where our risk is right now in the far south part of uh, New Zealand. And on the 15th and 16th, still some high risk down there. And uh, Right now, it's about 85% risk down there. So 5.0 is possible in that far south portion of New Zealand. Once more, we're going back to the uh, California and Nevada forecast. <clears throat> Looking for a 4.5 to 5.5 in east central California, west central Nevada. And that risk extends down to the Salton Sea. Most likely in east central California around Mammoth Lakes, Lone Pine, down to Ridgecrest and Barstow. But it could happen in LA or in the Salton Sea, most likely, like I said, in the east central portion of California and in the west central Nevada. And we'll be talking about that quake most likely tomorrow night when we talk again. Again, it's the uh, wow. I think I think I got the time wrong. I said that's time wrong. It's it's actually 1018 Wednesday, January 13th. Sorry about that. Wednesday, January 13th, 1019 p.m. right now. So we'll be talking again tomorrow on the 14th, uh, Thursday the 14th. Um, and we talk, uh, we have an earthquake forecast <clears throat> once a day around between 9 p.m. and 11 p.m. Pacific. California time. So thanks again for joining us, joining us here at uh, quakeprediction.com, the earthquake channel. We'll be updating you every day. Stay safe and uh, we'll keep you updated and stay safe over there in East Central California down to uh, Ridgecrest Barstow and uh, the Salton Sea tonight. And most likely tomorrow that quake is going to hit soon. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you again.